See, I want the footage of the real life. Here's the bitch pulling up in my house. Look at her. There she is. This is real life, unscripted. Why are you on her phone? Already? Hi. <laughs> because I have to film her pulling into the driveway. Mwah. I'm the world's worst driver. Oh, you smell good. <laughs> I know. It's Chanel for men, even though I have a dress on. You <laughs> smell good. I know. I like feeling cute. You smell good. Is there anything more than that? I'm putting music on. I don't care. All right. Yay. There's Shane in the back of the car. Hello. There's me. Hi, Shane. Hi, Shane. Hola. 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 What kind of music do you listen to? Right, right now. When you're driving. I'm on a. Right now, I'm on a disgusting Adele kick. I Why? The world's biggest girl crush on her. <laughs> I would have sex with her voice if I could. <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, talk dirty to me again. Okay, so who are you? Uh, Kai Hibbard. Well, Kai. Well, Kai Hibbard. Right. Yeah. Why do we know each other? Um, I feel like we've known each other forever. We know each other because of Heather, but I feel like it's been like. Do you remember the first time you ever talked to me? No, because I feel like I've known you forever. Like I can't remember a time period where I, I didn't know. know you. Lost souls, darling. Lost souls. Yeah. All this fabulous. So I still have a little time to share it with you. <laughs> do you remember the phone call? About getting your hair done? Yes, I do remember that phone there. call. Yes, Yay. yes, I do. Where I had a little mini Britney Spears nervous breakdown. What I <laughs> thought was so awesome was like, Hi, good to meet you. <laughs> and I was like, shame It was so in. good. Right? And another thing, we believe it happened. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, wow, all in our first phone conversation. I love her. I verbally vomited yeah. my entire life. Yeah. yeah, all in 32 seconds. Yeah, and right. that was pushing it. So... I have a few questions I've been dying to ask you. You're so graciously agreed to be an interviewed on camera with me, which I love you. Thank you. Oh, Here, cheers. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I love our hall rooms, the green room. <laughs> glug, glug. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, we call that lubrication for your lips. <laughs> okay. So I want to know, personally, because I was really thinking about it. I've been researching all this stuff. I've been looking her up on blogs, I've been looking her up online, I saw the interviews you're done with all these people all over the world, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. How in the hell did you go from being fat in Alaska <laughs> to getting on the TV show that you were on? How'd you do that? I mean, okay, I'm bored, I want to be on TV. Uh, exactly, actually. Um, I was, um, I just graduated from college and um, I was living with my best friend and okay. my boyfriend at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, like as soon as I quit college, apparently I took up eating instead. So I, I got really, really heavy, which wasn't a big deal because I've done it like my whole life, get heavy and then not. Sure, like, nobody not. just is, you know, anybody struggles with their weight. It's just like not one day I woke up fat. No, 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 no. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a total progression of eating like a linebacker and not doing anything. So um, anyway, so I just graduated from college. Um, I had been awarded a full scholarship to law school, mm -hmm. and um, I was killing time till law school started. Uh, my boyfriend and I at the time we'd been together for like four years, and he um, had mentioned getting married. And at the time, I what you're too fat, or he said go on TV and then I'll marry you. I no, mean, no, 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 the TV. no. He um, no, he didn't have anything to do with that. He. Um, he and I decided to part ways, basically. He was being um, stationed in Korea, and I was going to law school. So he was in the military. Shocker. Yeah, I was <laughs> with a mil military, military guy. And um, so my best friend at the time had just um, lost a lot of weight and finished a fitness competition. Okay. And she had seen the show. I would never seen the show before I was on it. I've never seen it after I've been on it. And I actually didn't even really watch when I was Do on you watch it. a lot of TV? I don't watch TV. Why not? Yeah. Um, because I've is that before or after the show? After. Oh, okay. um, it's got it's got to do with, um, one, it drives me crazy. I'll watch stuff on TV now and be like, that took 18 takes. I know that did. And it <laughs> I love that part of the business. They are lying so hard. Yeah. So, so anyway. So, so anyway, she had seen the show. I hadn't seen the show. She calls me upstairs because I'm living in her downstairs part of her house. And she was like, hey, there's this TV show. And they're taking applications. And she's like, I love you. You're fat right now. And you drop weight like a dude. Because I lose weight really fast for a girl. Apparently. I love it. Yeah. I love you, but you're fat right now. Yeah. And so. So this will help you. Yeah. So she was like, um, you drop weight like a dude. They need a female winner. Do it. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. And then um, we went, all went out for New Year's Eve. And mm -hmm. uh, New Year's Day hung over in my living room after talking to her again. I was like, fine, fine, I will send in a video. So I just made a video of me being me, talking to the camera and being stupid, and I mailed it in and I forgot about it. And like three months later... Why would you say to me that, why would you say being stupid if you were just putting yourself out there? Why is that being stupid Oh, no, no, because no, of the way I was dancing. 
Oh, that was the stupid. Yes, yeah, 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 I've right. seen that video. Yeah, okay, that. Yeah. No, putting myself out there, I don't have a problem. It was just me talking to the camera, but the dancing was, and I, God, I wish I could remember the song. I don't, I don't have a copy of that video, which kind of We'll bugs. find it. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of bugs. We'll YouTube yeah. that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bummed yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh, well. But anyway, so it was, um, it wasn't anything spectacular, no special effects or anything. And I sent it in, and three months later, LA called, and they were like, get on a plane. We're coming, you're coming down here. And. There you go. Yeah. The rest is history. And as far as I know, I'm still the only person cast just from a video. Well, my question on that is, did you think twice about it? Did you think, like, long-term repercussions or just thought, fuck it? I thought this sounds like fun because I'm a dum-dum. I didn't have any idea, like, what it would entail. And I was like, hey, let's <laughs> She adventure. says dum-dum only because there's the camera in the room. <laughs> She's scared to say what she really thinks. <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> what the fuck was I doing? Yeah, so I mean, when you get to that point, uh, now you're after the show. Yeah. Many, many years. And you've been approached by a lot of different people, or you've been confronted by different people, or embraced by people and loved by people. What were the specific immediate repercussions of the show? Like in the first year after the show, what was your life like? Um, the first. Because nobody asked that about reality stars. All of a sudden, poof, they disappear. What the hell happens to them? Yeah, the first year, um, I was so desperate for stability that um, I kind of financially or personally both. Oh, okay. Both. Um, you couldn't work basically for the year that you did the show if you were gonna dedicate time to doing the show. Okay. Um, so uh, I was ready to get the money that I'd won. So the whole time you did the show, you didn't get compensated financially for you it? You get compensated um, while you're actually on the ranch. You get okay. a whole $300 a week. Ooh. Yeah, and then... What's um, that buy? I mean, that doesn't even buy me my lip gloss. <laughs> and so um, if you manage to win something, you get money out of it. But uh, And I was lucky because I won something, and I put all this time into it. What there, did you win? I, I won $50,000. Really? Why aren't you rich from that? <laughs> Because fifty thousand dollars after, after taxes, a year not after working, after a year not working is nothing. I, come on, you're so rich from being on the biggest uh -huh. loser. I want to know where the money went. Where's the, show me the money. Really show think me the money, that. bitch. Yeah. yeah. And I did actually do some good things with the money. I um, <gasps> I, I paid off my husband's debt that he had. Um, what a good wife. I. <laughs> Did you just vomit? Uh, uh, yeah. He was my boyfriend at the time. I don't even care. It's my money. I'm married or not. You touch my money, I'm killing you. No blood job tonight. It's my money. <laughs> and then um, put a down payment on a house. We bought a house. Oh, that, oh, that was responsible. I wanted to, I wanted roots. I was ready to stay in one spot. And then um, I bought a... Well, I gave my parents my car that I had already purchased beforehand and that I paid off. Um, and and you're, she's a good daughter, too. <laughs> and you then, know, this, is, this is a different image of you, you... You're still supposed to be so nasty. Don't tell I am. I'm yeah. nasty and I'm mean and horrible. So you, you helped out the love of your life, who you're now married to. I am married to him, yes. Okay. And you guys put down some roots and have a home. Yep. And you helped out your mom and dad like a good daughter. Yeah. And so now you're broke ass. <laughs> I am broke ass, yeah. Yeah, so people think that after you do these reality shows, you got all that. I mean, you're not talking you got attention in the United States of America alone. No, it was it was viewed in 33 countries. Right. Yeah. Uh, how many people from those 33 countries are in contact with you today? Um, I don't I don't know. I mean, something like 2,000 on Facebook, and occasionally I get random emails. Yeah. So now we're further away from the show now because let's refresh everybody's memory. It was season three. Yep. We're like season eighteen. Something like twenty five thousand three hundred sixty two point five. And as they move along, the people get bigger. That's and I don't amazing. Think, and like there's new trainers and everything too. Yeah. Oh yeah. god. Yeah. We yeah. Heather's addicted. Oh. But I I think it's obnoxious. So I don't like to personally. I'm not a huge fan. But uh, and that's my opinion. I and think... I have various. I'm fluctuating because it's my prerogative. From them. the point that they put me in a horse stall yeah. and then rang the bell to ask us to run, I right. was pretty much not a fan anymore. <laughs> I was pretty much done right there. Run, fat girl! Run! Run! run. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, I was like, that's awesome. I'm, <laughs> Let's tape it! I'm fat. Run! I'm run fat. I'm and... not livestock. I'm fat. Yeah, yeah. Move. <laughs> You should have wore a cow print that day. Um, actually, I, um, and you can't tell because everything's edited the way they want, I protested. I refused to run. So mm -hmm. instead, I just look like the world's laziest bitch on national TV when really it was a protest. Well, I mean, come on. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so <laughs> let's discuss that for a minute. I mean, that brings something to my mind because I've worked in, of course, I've worked in the industry. But uh, editing, 
I mean, how do you feel about that? Were you aware of that when you first signed that 100-page contract that hoard yourself out to <laughs> a large corporation to put you into the media that they could really manipulate anything at all? Did you think they would really do that or not? You know, I, um, I like to think I'm an optimist at heart, and I never... Yes, I knew they could, but I never believed anybody would do that to another human being. Have you ever been in business before? Have I ever been in a business before? Mm -hmm. No, I'm, ah, I'm so there naive. It. I was yeah. so Bingo. naive. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like to think the best of people, and I never thought like it, the, the contract had like the most ridiculous things on it, like they could do anything to us. Sure. But I thought no Dump human being mouth. would ever yeah. do that to another human being. I was wrong. I was lucky. Um, pretty much everything you see on that show is me. I'm a smart ass. I'm sarcastic. It's my language of love, you know. Um, but do you think that's a defensive tactic, or do you think that's really you? I think that's really me. I think that um, I think I like to find the humor. In a lot of things, mm -hmm. um, like ninety-five percent of what I say is fucking smart ass because mm -hmm. it's funny. It's funny. I'm sorry. You are funny. funny. Why? Don't apologize. <laughs> like, it's fucking funny. Knock it off. But like one of my best friends on the show, Heather, she got she got really fucked. I mean, they made her look like the biggest bitch on the planet in the way they edited her, and she's really a good, genuine, decent human being, and and that sucked. What is your experience with the entertainment industry before The Biggest Loser? None. Have oh, you well, ever been to a drag show? I'm to before, the dra before The Biggest Loser, I've been to a drag show? I think so. You think so? I can't remember. Is it okay to slap your guests when you're doing an interview? What do you mean you it, think so? It, but I, after The Biggest Loser, how many drag shows have you been to? Oh, I've lost count. I, I don't know. Yeah, I... I she doesn't I, know. See? Do you have gay fans? Do I have gay fans? Mm -hmm. I do. Lesbians like me. I like lesbians. Just <laughs> lesbians from a gay man? You. Oh, my God. I don't know. Gay yeah. men haven't really... I, I'm trying to think if any gay men approach me or talk to me about this So how show. do you feel about, like, so your issues for this show made you recognizable on the internet and yeah, the on media the internet. and everything, right? Internet. I love the internet. Hush. <laughs> I'll get personal. <laughs> But, so think about it, it made you very recognizable. How do you feel about that, uh, gave you a voice that you didn't necessarily have beforehand? So you're a smart ass, and so you're all of these things, but when you say certain things, people will react to it now that you have a personality and an image and blah, 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 blah. So do you use that for, like, politics, issues, schools, youth, children? I mean, have you done any speaking? Do you use that voice, or do you just talk shit? I do. Well, I talk shit a lot of the time, but because it makes me laugh. <laughs> so but, do I. Imagine that. I don't but, know what it is. That's the, why we get along. The way I most like to use it, actually, is I like to speak to high schools. That's my favorite audience. Um, I think you get people, um, you get kids bordering on being an adult and they're less jaded uh -huh. and they're less cynical about what you have to tell right. them and you could send a really positive message that like um measuring yourself by your are race. you discussing teenagers i am um, I, I like teenagers it's wow. a good group i really so like you teenagers. really have a positive point of view on teenagers i do i do because i don't have one yet my kid's still too ah, 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 ask ah, me ah, like there it is yeah. yet she gets yeah. to have one ask so me. are you a mom <laughs> i am a mom i, I mean two maybe your 2000 fans know it but does the rest of the world know that <laughs> you're a mom that i'm a mom do you know um this is kind of tangential, but um, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, yes, I think a lot of people know that I'm a mom, and I'm I'm really a little pissed off, and it's my own fault for letting things get put on the internet. But um, a friend of mine, I went to lunch with him the other day, and he googled me as a lark on mm -hmm. his phone, and he mm -hmm. googled images. Mm -hmm. and there's a fucking picture on the internet of me holding my son literally minutes after he was born. Yes. And that fucking pisses me off. Do you feel that's an invasion of privacy? I think that whoever took that from wherever they fuck they took that pisses me off. It's but my if son. You, but if you put it out on, let's say, your Facebook page. It's not, though. I can't figure out where the hell that one's from. I think that's why it bothers me. I think if I knew it was on my Facebook page and I'm like, oh, that picture's from wherever, it wouldn't bother so me. So you, what you're saying is your control issues kicked in because the yes. intimate moment with your son got robbed from you because of this new fame that you have. Yeah, yeah. It, that, that one pissed me off. I, um... I don't, you know, I did this to myself. Sure. I volunteered to go sure. on there. It's, sure. I get the repercussions of my actions. Right. My son didn't volunteer for it. <laughs> my husband didn't volunteer <laughs> that made for me it. Laugh. Sorry. <laughs> and my sister. <laughs> what? what? Well, because it kicks back into thinking longer term down the road. Which I didn't. Right. What would you do now? I mean, now you're a mom and you're protective, obviously, so yeah. I find that a good quality in a mother. And you're concerned about your husband and family. Those are also good qualities. I can't believe how nice the bitch is. Ah, uh, it's a facade. I know. She <laughs> pretends a lot. It's bullshit. So, uh, but my thing is, is like, so now you're 
there's all of these long-term repercussions of things that you can't undo. Yep. So how do you protect your son from... Uh, well, my real last name isn't on my Facebook. Awesome. Um, there are um, very few photos of he and I together. Right. So there's, yeah. And then also um, my husband doesn't have his real last name, nor is he listed as my husband on my Facebook. Right. So then people can't manipulate that information to their advantage. Because they've tried... Um, yeah, they've tried to find So, him. really what we're talking about now is of all the people that love you, how many people hate you? Of all the people that love me, how many people hate yeah, me? Yeah, how many love you? So, you might have 2,000 fans on your Facebook page, but... Oh, a lot of them friended me just to watch what the bitch is up to. I'm not, I mean, I'm not naive about that. I think I'm a lot less naive. Right. I think that anybody that chooses to be a part of my life now, um, and that cares about me, is in for a big keeping a bullshit that comes along with it, and I appreciate that. I do. You're I'm... so not boring. Whatever. Please <laughs> be in the back room with them fat cows trying to get their <laughs> eyelashes on and smear something all over their face to get up on stage and lip sync some god-awful song, and you bug me? I don't even think so. <laughs> whatever. I, I just mean that anybody that, um, it's not going to go away, especially with me being in Alaska, because we, right. we have, yeah, and then if anybody... We have wine in Alaska. We have Sarah Palin and me. <laughs> She's moving. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. So, so we're going to Arizona. No. <laughs> we're going to Arizona. Yeah, I'm going to vote there. So anybody that chooses to get involved with me or be my friend um, occasionally gets approached with conversations that make them uncomfortable, especially if they don't know me um, from the show. I, I struggled for a really long time about not making friends or not wanting to make friends after the show because of the bullshit. And I've had a couple Did of you think that people only wanted to be your friend because you were on the show? I've had a couple, yeah. Yeah, that's that's always fun. Yeah, that or thought that I could get them something or do something for them. Or they could use my fame to get something. So let's approach your fame. <laughs> my fame. I love your fame. Your fame is like, we're in the United States of America, whether or not it's the frozen capital of Alaska with a crazy woman with a gun running around for politics. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you're in the American culture in 2000 and whatever it is. And, like, fame is, like, worshipped here. It's like a commodity, right? Yeah. And did that motivate you in any way to do anything? Like, to get the fame of it, I'll be known. No, I wanted the story. Mm. I wanted the story. I wanted the life story. I'm really big on um, experiences as opposed to material things. Right. I wanted the story, and instead I got the fame. The, the level of fame... Instead. I, instead, <laughs> instead I Blasphemer! Got the... <laughs> yeah. Instead, she's blasphemous. You know, in America, you're supposed to worship the fame. I, um, you know, I've, I've said it before, and I think, um, I don't know if I've, I don't think I've ever said it in an interview, but the level I have of fame, of fame is such a bullshit level of fame that all it does is leave me open for every asshole on the planet that wants to comment on my life. Sure. But doesn't give me any financial... So, are love. you talking to the people that call you fame whores? Because I can say it. I'm the hostess. You can definitely call me a fame whore. Um, no, the people I'm that call me... I'm a fame whore. The people that call I'm me fame whore... for my close-up. <laughs> yeah. The I mean, people that call me fame whore, at least they have a legitimate, like, fucking opinion about it. I'm talking about the random assholes that see me out in public and are like, what do you weigh? Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. What oh, do you weigh? Oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Guys will come up and go, do you want to have sex? And I'm like, but what was my name? Okay, I would prefer, yeah. do you want to have sex, too? Yeah. What do you weigh? Yeah, but still, I mean, it's like, I'm a human being underneath here, sweetie. The wig comes off. I don't just, you know, oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> No, I mean, come on. Think about it. I mean, people are dehumanizing you because they feel you've become this object because what? You put yourself out okay. there and you're on My TV fault. and now you're famous. So, would you take it back? Yeah, fuck yeah. Why? Um, because... Because it was lame. I mean, it was Why like, is it lame? I mean, you say lame, lame, lame. We've had lots I of discussions. Didn't, I know, I do say that. Um, because, you know, maybe, um... Maybe because I didn't know how to do with it what I what I could have done with it or what I should have done with it. So instead Oh, of it, so we just could have would have shitted in thirty seconds. Instead of it being a nice. Instead of it being a tool that I used to do something, instead it um it just became this big thing, this big awkward thing, like when I meet somebody new and but you know, my opinion can change in any time. Like maybe if I find I know. Way, As women our opinions can change any time we want to. We're entitled to that. Hello. Yeah, exactly. If um Deal with it. If I found a way you know what? I'm saying I'm full of shit. I'm absolutely full of shit. I'm full of shit. Um, I, you know, I have my moments, like when I talk to high schools and stuff, mm -hmm. and when I walk away, and I'm like, I'm damn glad I did Good that. Good girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, you're right. That's honesty. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah, what I'm I did. Shit. Breakthrough moment. Oh, yeah. my God. Have to drink. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you're never going to say anything new. Bullshit. Yeah, 
I'm full of shit, actually. Yeah, I'm totally <laughs> lying. Talking to high schools is one of my favorite things on the planet. If I could find a grant that would do nothing but fund me to go around the country and speak at high schools on positive body image, how reality TV fame is bullshit, and how it's about being healthy and not being thin, and you should ignore the media entirely and the marketing, that'd be my dream job. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, and do you think that uh, maybe it's not necessarily a grant? What if there was a sponsor? Oh, yeah, that would be fantastic. Too. You know, do you think you could do that with a sponsor? So what would your message... So, okay, you get your sponsor, you get your grant, and you're at a high school that isn't in Anchorage, Alaska, that yeah. only has, you know, like you're in 10,000 kids. What yeah. would you say to them? Um, I, I spoke at a high school in Colorado, actually, um, and I would say... Well, I, first of all, I'm no bullshit when I talk to kids. Um, of course not. They're human beings just exactly. because they're teenagers. Exactly, and I love it. And that's when, when they come up You can only be a human being when you're 21. Right? But not before. And after, you know, before 21, you're blah, 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 and we don't even care. You're a commodity. You sit in your bed and you're a dog. But yes. after 21, now you're a human being. So I right? think that youthful people and people under 21 really appreciate being treated like human beings. But that's me personally. So much so that, like, after I go and speak, they come up and talk to me, and they thank me for that. Thank you for speaking to us like we're real people, and we needed to hear that. And I would give the same message that I give all the time. Reality TV fame is bullshit. Fame is bullshit. It doesn't mean anything. Well, reality TV has been for how long now? Let's kind of... Forever. Well, not really. The I mean, real world uh, New York, which was way back when I was a kid, and I'm freaking ancient. Right, but it wasn't so prolific. It wasn't yeah. like an everywhere you went. Now, everything well, became reality TV. And you know TV. why it's so prolific. I mean, everything's the almighty dollar. Like, they don't... They don't have to pay the the actors. I'm mean, we're sure as fuck actors. Right. They don't have to pay us. Um, and Are they, you a better actor now that you've done it? Oh, I was a good actor before. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, baby, I came. You There's were a that difference good. between. <laughs> oh, then I'm an actress too. <laughs> Wow! Did you it's make the best that? No, it's, it's the, the best biggest I've ever, I've ever seen. It's so oh amazing! No one but you, yeah, you ever. Oh my God! Next. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Well. Uh, no, I was uh, a good actress. Well, though. back to having. Well, think about it. So now you're an actress, right? Right. You, there's a difference between actress and animated. Oh. Right. Okay. So like. I meet a lot of people that are highly animated in their experience in life, but they're not very good at acting. This is disgusting to admit, but I can cry on cue usually. Oh, It's so bad. When I did it, actually, for the TV show, they Do you hear me. that? She has a husband, and she can cry on cue. Right? Yeah. Well, Watch okay. out. When they did it for the show, my best friend and her fiancé were there, and when they cut the scene, he looked at me and he said, oh, I feel so bad for the poor bastard that falls in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> My hair itches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, that's fun. <laughs> so, think about it. So, what would you tell young gay adolescents who are struggling with all that they have to struggle with Ooh. and their weight becomes a part of that? Oh, wow. What would you say to them? That's a tough question. Young gay adolescents that are also struggling with their weight. Yes. There's so many factors there. There are so many different things that I'd want to address. First of all, young um, you know, not everybody's going to be in control of your life for, for very long. You're going to be in control of your own life. And try, and try and remember that, um, it, as painful as it is right now. Sure. Um, gay. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm really lucky. I come from an incredible, incredible family that's very, very open about sexuality. Um, nobody gives a shit who I sleep with in my family. It's not a big issue. As long as you're not hurting another human being, what makes you happy makes you happy. And, um, so do you think that allowed you a bit of personal sexual freedom? Oh yeah, I have, I, my parents, did, well my dad, my dad gets all shy, he doesn't really ever want to talk about sex with me because that's awkward right, and horrible. Right, you're not supposed to do that with your daughter. Yeah, it's like awkward and horrible. Because that's but, a different thing, that's talking to your daughter. Right, exactly, but my mother, um, it's, it's always been a really open thing, sexuality has been, um, an incredibly open thing in my family, and that let me be whoever I was, and I... I honestly feel really, really bad for um, people that haven't had that freedom to be who they are. And um, I know the really bad repercussions of that that I've seen in really good friends. And um, mm -hmm. all I would say is embrace who you are. Even if nobody else around you is embracing mm -hmm. who you are, mm -hmm. you embrace who you are. Because if you don't love you, nobody is going to love you. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it's a cliche for a reason. It's true. Right. You know? And, um, it, again... If you're not hurting anybody, then it's fair game in bed. Right. It's, that's is. Well, and even if you are, it's all about the negotiation. Well, if you heard that. Yeah, well, yeah. But it just depends on what crowd go, you hang out. I was with. gonna go. I'm the hostess. There. I can go there. <laughs> <laughs> I could do anything.
anything I want to. It's my camera. And then as far as your weight goes, I mean, you're already... Um, well, you think about the emotional stress they're that's under. That's exactly what oh, the emotional they're, stress. They're, yummy, yummy, yeah. yummy. Boom. Now I'm gay and fat and young and depressed and that. Or the other way, you know, I'm never going to eat again. I don't exactly. want to be fat. I mean, they're all the same thing. And the best advice I can give for that, and it's it's the hardest advice in the world, and I still, I, I'm still trying to live it, and I'm fucking ancient. Um, oh, yeah. yeah because I'm at so your old. age, you're dead. <laughs> Though that makes me, I'm dust. Hi, hosted by <laughs> dust. dust. Shut up. You're like, yeah. fine. Yeah. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> I know. We're both 25. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's like the eighth anniversary yeah. of my 25th birthday. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, yeah. Cheers. We're both 25. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, what yeah, it's, you know how you can tell my real age on a queen is by the ring, like how many chins the bitch has. <laughs> Look, it's not 25. It's like a tree. The advice I would give about um, your weight, first of all, um, don't measure yourself by a fucking number. Um, secondly, feel your emotions. Oh. That's the hardest one. Ooh, so you think they're, in, yeah, insulation through food. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's there's a couple different ways I think that people, I'm not saying that everybody gets heavy for emotional reasons. Some people get heavy for whatever, but. Um, right, 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 right. Yeah, nobody's saying that. I mean, yeah, you well, know, you could be born heavy, you could be totally thin, blow up, you could eat like crap, you could have yeah. a problem, you get unhealthy, you can have a disease. I mean, yes, but if can't it's exercise. An, yeah. But if it's an emotional thing that, that's right. doing it for you, um, there's a couple, there's a couple things that I've seen. People that can't handle the attention they get when they're not heavy. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. And then, so you feed it so that you're heavy, yeah. and you kind of, that way, it's a way so to be... I did <clears throat> It's a way to be invisible. Right. Um, And you can right. control when you're invisible. You can't get next to me because I'm 200 pounds. I'm it's, behind here hiding. Exactly. And yep. then the other way is, um, like, a drug. Like, things are too painful, so um, people eat until their stomach hurts because that way it's a physical pain as opposed to an emotional pain. Right. And you can deal with the... <clears throat> sorry. You can deal with the physical pain, not the emotional pain. Right. So feel Look like at, notice how that makes you react. So, yeah, you get in there a little bit on what's really bugged her. Yeah, that's good. That's good because you pee, I'm a firm believer. Uh-huh. Honestly, I do believe in a few things besides my lip gloss. <laughs> uh, you know, they said it was the end of the world the other day, and I had a panic attack because I just could not believe they quit making my lip gloss again. Because every time I find one I like, they quit making the shit, and then I'm like, ah, end of the world. But anyway, back to you. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know... I think what's really interesting is that you cannot discuss conversations with people unless you've been there. Yeah. And a lot of times people pass out all kinds of advice, yeah. right? And they've never done a fucking word of it. They've never done a day of work, they, or they've never been fat or thin, they've never been sick, they've never been gay or straight, yep. they've never been rich or poor, they've never been broke on the street, begging, looking fabulous in their dress. You know what I'm saying? And they've they, read an article. <laughs> yeah, right. For some reason, they can go to a coffee shop for free. I mean, no. I've been taking the bus lately, public transportation, and you know how many people have a copy that are, I see them not hours later on the corner with their sign that says, you know, give me some money, but they have a newspaper in their hand. Yeah. Or they have a cell phone in their hand. You know, they got the dollar. You can get a phone for a dollar a month now, right? So, right, they've got all kinds of media. Yeah. Right, I'm with you. But everybody can pass out the advice, and everybody has an opinion. But I don't think that you can give accurate advice that people can use you unless can. it's, yeah, it's like transpersonal psychology is my favorite. Unless you've been there. You can't. How do you help people? Um, I think that's why I've got such a, a bond with um, the other people that were on the show with me. Sure. <clears throat> because there's... Nobody else lived it. And and even, like, some of the people that left... Oh, you poor thing. You lived the show. I mean, you have people out there that are criticizing you, saying that, oh, you did this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah poor Whatever. thing. And they don't know what the hell Such a victim, about. you know. No, not a victim at all, but, like, if you want to talk about the experience, it's good to have somebody that lived the freaking experience with I, you. I'm with you. Even people that um, had left... Takes one to know one. Exactly. Even people that left weeks before I did didn't have the same experience. So I, I find that I'm not as closely bonded with them, whereas the people that were there all the way to the end with me sometimes I'll call and I'll go am I fucking crazy or was that shit really as bad as I remember and then right. they'll go no 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 it's really that bad and I go oh, okay cool awesome bye you know you just need that that reality check in for somebody else that was there for it right on I yeah. understand that so uh why haven't you capitalized on it up until this point uh, why haven't you done that why haven't you taken every endorsement that's come your way why it. haven't you written a book why, why I mean why aren't you out there why aren't you doing it um there's a couple different reasons. One is, like, I've turned down money for interviews because my integrity um, makes me feel as though... I'm sorry, I just wanted to smack her in the face. So, <laughs> you what? I turned, you turned down money I did. for interviews? I did. I did. Because yeah. you felt your integrity was going to be questioned? I mean, that's horseshit. I felt it would draw away from um, what I had to say. I felt it would... Um, 
So in your mind. Yes. In, in my your, crazy ass little yeah, mind. Your crazy world. Dream cop. I, I dream cop. Yeah, that, dream that crazy little world. Yeah. Are you kidding me? So how much money was offered to you? Just a random. I wouldn't let him tell me. So you don't even know what they're going to give you. And we live in a capitalist pig society. I wouldn't let him tell me. Where like four years ago money was nothing. And nowadays. Oh my God. We don't have any world broke recession. Depression. Ah. Bail me out. Yeah. That you said no to money. I did. And it was less. It was less than two yeah. years ago. Cut to fight scene. <laughs> I did. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, um... And so how many times since then have you been offered money and you said no? I, I've turned down a couple endorsements. Why? Because I... Look I, at you, you start blushing. I you think am. You're, like, she's like, I feel stupid. I, well, yeah. it's not... So that again, I, when have you been in business? You know what I mean? I like, falls back on that, right? I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. Um, I, I... First of all, I'm terrible at marketing myself. I'm, I'm terrible at it. I feel oh. like a pretentious bitch when I'm all like, do you know who I am? Fuck, I'm nobody. I'm... I'm Whatever. Um, the other thing is, is I feel like if I'd taken money for the interviews that I give, mm -hmm. it would give naysayers more, um, uh, more of a foothold to say that everything that I'm saying that happened um, is bullshit because I'm doing it for money. Oh. And then um, for endorsements, if I don't believe in what somebody wants me to endorse, right? I can't do it. But you're a great can't actress. You it. said that earlier. I you can't am. even fake it for the money. Uh, no, I can't. I, Why? I can't. Why does money change things for you? Um, Look at that! It makes you you're like <gasps> nervous, and oh my god, well, I better watch what I'm saying. That's also the alcohol. Yeah, whatever. Oh, no, really, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be like yeah, over but red. Yeah, still, I mean, okay. come on, what? Uh, Why? What else does money change? Nervous. Yeah, money um, changes it for you. I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever thought about money, that. Money, money yeah. changes everything. It does. I I don't think money should be earned. And I oh yeah. time out. So you know what I just heard? What did you just hear? I heard a little self-esteem issue there. I heard that you don't think that you're earning the money if you're speaking. Now, if you know what you're talking about, mm -hmm. and if it's your talent, and if it's your good at it, and it's what you do, I mean, people make an industry, there's an industry in that whole environment, mm -hmm. right? And that's what they do for a living. It's no different than digging a ditch, right? It's no different. And think of it for a second. Now, allow yourself to go there for whatever the motivation is. Okay. <laughs> allow yourself to go there for a minute okay so this is what you would be doing for a living so it's no less than mm -hmm. digging a ditch yeah and you'd be getting compensated financially for that yeah do you know how many people want me to do their hair for free a lot yeah. right and they're like you do your hair for free and unless i'm willing like people will randomly say to me you know, you're a hairdresser, I need a free haircut. And I look at him and I say, huh, pay the light bill with free, sweetie. Eat with free. You're telling you know, me I, I do my job for yeah, free. Yeah, why free. are you doing your job for free is what I'm saying. Because you're good at it. It's a good job and it's a real profession. You know, people win Nobel Peace Prizes yeah. for their speeches. Think about that. Now let yourself go there for a minute. Because I think what would happen is that if you, it, it, sometimes it's frowned upside down as a smile, right? So if you turn it around a little bit and can actually view it, from the standpoint of, this is what you're doing, this is work. It's hard work. Yeah. A, you have to figure out what the fuck you're saying. Well, yeah. B, you're in front of everybody and they're all looking to you to make something make sense. Good fucking luck. You know, and then blah, 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 blah. Nothing ever goes to script. No. People don't get their time. You're up there, you have to pee in the middle of it all. My or, videos or, didn't work. You know, blah, 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 blah. Right? It's, yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy to... work. Yeah. And then... At the end, you're hoping that you reach that one person in the whole crowd of 10 million yeah. that actually connected with you. And felt what I had to say. Right, and saved their life. Right, and that's good work. Even yeah. if it's for that one person, then you get paid. And then you can look at your baby and go, here's dad, here's your trust fund. <laughs> you know, darn it, mommy made you rich. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, really, it's work. I mean, yeah. it's just like taking a ditch, so... My personal advice for you. Yes. You can't help that. Yes. You know, <laughs> intervention. <laughs> oh, my God. I like that you're doing an intervention while yeah, I have a glass of wine. Yeah. That's not that kind of intervention, oh. sweetie. Let's not get crazy. I had to take care of oh, 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 okay. Back to you. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So think about it a minute. So if I, if I give you any advice, it would be, it's a good job. Yeah. It's right. It's in your lap. Silly girl. Anyways. Next thing. Um, I, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, and I have no idea how to step in that direction. What do you mean you have no idea how to step in that direction? I've so the phone isn't just ringing off the hook now that you're this fame whore? <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? Um, you know, I've never, I've, I've never looked into it. Um, I thought it was just something that I was really lucky to do when people asked me to go do it. 
and that's why I was doing it for free. Mm, back to validation. You know, honey, I think you'd be amazing at it personally. Thank you. I mean, honestly, and I think that, I'm seriously, I mean, there's all sides to every person, and some people will show you what they want to see, and some people are animated, and some people are actors and whatever, but I think that because you can take your personal emotions mm -hmm. and put them into the words that are coming out of your face, and that you talk to people like they're humans, think about it, you, you can connect with an audience that you're not even, that you're blocking. Actually, that, that is right there. That's right there. And I think it'd be awesome. And then I think that all the income stream that would come from that, because, like you said, you had this opportunity to come jump in your lap. I did. Yeah, and then you were too stupid and crazy <laughs> to, to avoid it. it and yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I think that you could really... Now, the other thing I believe in, sidebar, is the universe teaches us stuff. And unfortunately, me kicking and screaming. Apparently, those two outfits weren't supposed to be worn that night, but whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, kicking and screaming, the universe is going to teach you something. And I, you know, from a standpoint of back here, uh, all of these things you've gone through that have been rather traumatic, or some have been really fabulous, yep. have made you more capable of being able to utilize your abilities now, from my standpoint. But, you know, how I am. I'm blonde. <laughs> Talk slow. <laughs> it's big, really. So, uh, anyways, now, so how has, you know, back to losing all this weight. Yeah. How has your body image changed at all? Um, how has it changed? You've caught me on a, you've caught me on a rough week, actually. Rough week or a good week? It doesn't, I mean, we all have, you're a human being. Yeah, well, normally it doesn't phase me, um, but that's, I don't know if that's a good thing. I live um, primar primarily in my head and in my personality as opposed to in my body. Oh, so do I. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't, I, I don't really pay much attention to it. Um, but like I said, you caught me on a bad week. I'm all like, oh, I can't, my, the, the more weight I lose, the less I like my body. Why? Um, because in America, you should just be thin. Yeah, I think that because I pay more attention to it. When I'm that way, and normally I don't, I pay attention to my personality, I pay attention to the books I read and the conversations I can have and who I really am. Right. And um, when I'm in the process of like trying to lose weight because I have a goal or I have a health goal or I have a race I'm training for or something like that, I find that I pay more attention to my body. And I found this through the show too, and I wasn't the only contestant, which I was surprised by. Um, the more weight we lost, the more we picked apart what we looked like. And not just our weight. It would be like... Um, you got more critical. Yeah, a because lot more. Because you're under the microscope. Everything. Like, oh, my eyes are slightly off, or sure, sure, um, sure. when I smile. And not only did you get to do that like us normal people in our bathrooms. I got I to mean, see click, it. There it is on the TV. Yeah. Great. Do I really look that way? Yeah. yeah. And what's funny is I didn't really do it to my image on TV because I tried not to watch myself on TV. Mm. But boy, America was willing to do that for me. So I'm ugly when I cry. I, I, I know that about myself so i try not to cry ever because i'm hideous when i cry i know because do I'm you have any makeup me. on right now no i don't wear look makeup. at her face give me a break she's no makeup on her face. <laughs> zoom in camera boy <laughs> please do. yeah zoom in on her face look at her okay yeah, look at that makeup. no makeup on her face i'm jealous <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you have great skin. Thank you. Just That's my mom. Me, yeah, I can't take any credit for that. This is genetics. Yeah. Too bad it's not on mommy's face right now, sweetie. It's on yours. That's the way I look at it. Sorry, mom. Sorry, right now it's on me. Lucky me. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a lot more critical the more weight that I, yeah. And it, it's Have you had any surgery after the show? It's so funny. I love you that you just asked me that. I've never considered um, plastic surgery until recently, actually. Um, and why? What would motivate that? Um, I, I'm... I'm listening to outside voices as opposed to the voice inside me. I and the voice inside says? Says, why the fuck would you cut yourself open just to look like somebody you see on TV? Um, but you are somebody we see on TV. Oh, well, I meant like uh, somebody who's airbrushed 24-7 and oh, well I see. lit with right, a lighting right, right. crew. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We're in the back I, room. <laughs> I, this yeah. is our lighting. An yeah. ideal of, per, you know, of perfection that nobody can reach unless they are followed by a lighting crew all the time and somebody to airbrush their pores. And Right. Um, right after the show, I know a lot of contestants that went in and like had tummy tucks or had um, their breasts done or whatever. I knew I was going to have a kid. So, um, because I wanted to be a mother, and so I was like, well, that'd be a waste of money to go ahead and do that okay. right now. I went in and had a, um, a consult with plastic surgeon because he offered. Right. And, um, and I left feeling 
worse about myself, so I thought that's not. The well, right, because be. they, they start outlining you and yes, mocking you, yeah. and I'm that like, should have been there, and this yeah. was never <laughs> there, and what are those? And oh my god, my armpits are plugged with something. It's my tits, honey. Yeah, yeah I mean, exactly. yeah, right. I mean, nobody's gonna feel good after a consult with so, a, yeah, the. It's, it's really funny though. Like as heavy as I got, and then getting thin, and then heavy and thin again. Um, my stomach didn't get really tore up until I had my son. Right. So my. Son, well, they're like aliens, little bastards, want to claw was, their way yeah. out. And that's I mean, what I look like. I look like he literally tried to claw his way out from the inside of my stomach. And, um, you know, I go back and forth about, like, is it really that important to me to one day be able to, like, mm. you know, throw on a pair of jeans and feel like I don't have to worry about if they're cut right to hide that one little roll that I still Oh, have yeah. It, it, or ride it, the bus with me. They don't even care if she rolls <laughs> out. So, you know. is it worth the investment of, like, you know, a, you know, Ten grand, or to go get that done and taken care of, so that I could walk around in a pair of jeans. Well, what if it, so? So medically, it's not bothering you at all. Uh, medically, you have no repercussions of like the extra skin. No, or whatever I just it, yeah. look like paper mache on my stomach. <laughs> right, so it'd be aesthetics. It would be completely aesthetics. Now, I work in an aesthetic business. Yes. <laughs> obviously, and uh, all this glamour, so little time to share it. Uh, <laughs> And one of the things I've learned that if people look good, they mm -hmm. feel better, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they spend gazillions of dollars at the therapist's office. Yes. So do you feel that it would help you emotionally and mentally if you could look in the mirror and go, oh, I'm pretty, you know, my body looks good, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm, I don't have any problems with plastic surgery whatsoever, um, but... You're just hesitating. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hesitating. Uh, well, I'm hesitating because I'm broke, first of all. I mean, I'm not saying if somebody... You wouldn't be if you'd speak, but whatever. <laughs> if, like, <laughs> if I had a, a decent plastic oh. surgeon come up to me and, and was like, I will handle that for free, I'd probably be on that. I At this point, right today. Um, but, but next week when you're feeling powerful, no. Exactly. Yeah. That's, I, yeah, this it's, is it's the first seesaw, time. Honey, seesaw, yeah, this seesaw. is the first time ever in my life where I'm like, oh, God, I really hate that. I really don't like my stomach like that. I've never... I've never been that way before. So I guess it's something like a few months down the road or whatever. I have to really consider if it, it would be worth right. it being cut all the way around. To, you know, one of the girls that I was on my season, she did that. She did like an ento entire lower body lift. And um, she's gained all of her weight back. I've had clients that have had it done. The most amazing client in the whole world was 100,000 years ago back when I was young. And she had lost 200 some odd pounds through gastric bypass in the very beginning of it, right? And got the little teeny tiny tummy. Yep. I was like, forget that. I want to eat something. God, Ooh, I'm going to okay. drink the rest of my life. Well, well it, maybe. maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but my point was is that she had had a total body lift. And I was amazed. Yeah. Like, and God bless my clients. They're all about showing me everything. I've touched every boob job in the planet. I mean, ah. all kinds. Talk to them. They're real. Uh, they're really they did her like a zipper. Yeah. They cut all of this off because she had lost that much weight. Yeah. They did the thighs. They did the legs. They did the whole thing. Because medically, she needed that done. Boobs. You know, they went from her kneecaps to the back up. And yeah. Blah, 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 blah. For her, she felt better. But she really amazed me. She had actually lost enough weight that they had to do the whole vaginal plasty thing and make everything because she had lost weight everywhere all over her whole body. Oh, wow. Yeah. And medically, she felt better about herself. Well, yeah. But I, I mean, think if I had that issue, I'd probably be, I would have got on that like a long time so, ago. I mean, you look at it and you look at like some people, they have a panic attack, they have a blemish. Yeah. Some people, they do their whole body. And some people, they don't. So I think, you know, if you're struggling with that, think about it. You, you know, that's always a personal thing. But if it's a health wise, how's your health? Um, my health is better now. It was, it was crap right after the show. I was, I was really, really sick. My immune system took a total shit dive and I ended up, um, I ended up with thrush. Ew. Yeah, you like yeah, that? Yeah, that's Yeah, it's thrush gross. is common. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> apparently it's common in babies who don't have immune systems or in people whose immune systems have completely crashed. Right. HIV clients. Yeah. One of my friends that was very dear to me, that was one of the signs before he would go finally get admitted that he had, was full blown positive was fresh all over inside his mouth all the way down through you. That's yeah. like number one. Yeah, my immune system took a huge dive right after the show. So, I did some research. Do you want to take a break? No, I'm good. I'm fine. Okay, how are you over there? 